Hey party people, welcome to my first restaurant review. This is a new series and I'm incorporating on my channel, reviewing different restaurants, you know, just to give you a new type of content to change it up a little bit. So I decided to visit Miller's, um, Miller L Steakhouse in McDonough, Georgia. This restaurant has been around for some years and I finally said, you know what, let me go ahead and try it. So this is their menu. You know, they sell like appetizers, soup, salads, pasta, steaks, burgers, alcoholic beverages, salad. But I decided to get the ribeye steak. I got it medium well. I got it with a side of broccoli and I got a loaded baked potato. I got a ginger ale to drink. The ginger ale was nice and strong, just like I like it. I was like, okay, ginger ale. So that is my food. Now, um... First of all, my waitress was amazing and she had very prompt and polite and attentive service. So I really like that. But they did have a rip in their um, chair I was sitting in, like the um, upholstery. You know, I look at stuff like that. So here's a shot of my food. That's butter and sour cream on the side for my baked potato. Food looks good. Nice grill marks on the steak. I always, you know, look for things like that. But let's see how it tastes. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of getting steaks outside of the house. I think I make a great steak. I make one of the nice compound butter. And it's just phenomenal. However, I did bring my own sauce. Yes, I got a little, you know, I don't know what you call it, ghetto hood, whatever country. I don't know. But I got my own pick of pepper sauce. I'm not a fan of, you know, Heinz 57 or A1 sauce. But the pick of pepper is really not a steak sauce. It's a sauce that you can put on basically any meat and it has like raisins or something in it. I don't know. It's so good. So this is me taking the first bite of my food. Now I do apologize for not being able to get the food and myself eating in the frame. I was feeling on my filming on my phone and on a little selfie stick stand thing. So I was not able to work the angles where you could see, you know, me, my face and the food at the same time. But um first bite of the steak it was tender it, you know, it had a okay flavor. I think I put some more salt on it for, you know, seasoning. And the steak was um, undercooked for me, but it wasn't a big deal. I got a medium well. It's more like a little medium, a um, little bloody, bloody honey. It wasn't that bloody. It was a little bloody. Yeah, but that, that doesn't bother me. As you can see, it's real pinkish, you know, but it didn't bother me. So um, I continued eating, you know, my waitress came and checked on me and make sure everything was okay. I, you know, I came here wanting a specific dessert. And I don't know if you saw at the beginning that little shot of a cake, like a three layer cake. Um... I had my eye on that and I had plans for that cake. I had plans for it, but they did not have it. So I ended up having to get something else. Sidebar, we'll get back to that later. So I'm just enjoying my baked potato, put my sour cream and butter on it, um, my cracked black pepper, a little salt, all that girl. So the food was good. It was my first meal of the day. So I was really happy to eat this food. I demolish that whole plate. Um, yeah, I left no evidence. You know, if it was a murder scene, you wouldn't have found the body because I demolished it. But the it had music on in the background. As you see, it has TV screens, um, adequate seating. So I did like that. And also, it wasn't overly crowded. Well, I did kind of get here when it opened. I got there probably like at 11:30 ish. It opened like at 11 o'clock. I wanted to get there early because I didn't want to. I didn't want to be around a lot of rigmarole because I knew I was filming. This is my first time filming like this in public, so it was a little awkward for me. And but I, you know, I got used to it. If I'm gonna do this, honey, I gotta get used to it. So I'm gonna be taking this um, show on the road. But anyway, as you can see, this the steak is really tender. And, you know, this, like I said, is a ribeye. Ribeye is my favorite cut of meat. Perfect balance of meat and marbleization. It's just, it's just suckling. Like, what are you doing eating T-bones? I'm just saying. Okay. On that note, um, 
Yeah, girl. You see it? You see it? Yeah, she killed it. Um, and I would have ate all of it all with that skin, but I want to save her for dessert. Now, this is their brownie dessert. Ice cream, hot fudge, brownie, whipped cream with a cherry. Um, the waitress came to me. She said, I asked him to put it in the micro... No, I asked him to put it in the oven for you because I usually put it in the microwave and it dries it out. But that brownie was so dry. That brownie was dry like the Sahara Desert. I said, no ma'am, no ham, and no turkey. And the hot fudge was very overwhelming. Like, if I like the brownie, wouldn't know if I like the brownie because the hot fudge was so overwhelming. I feel like it's like really cheap hot fudge. So I told her I did not enjoy that. As you can see, when I take my bite, I'm like, eh, eh. So I told my wife I didn't enjoy it, and I told her why. The same reason I just gave you all. I said it just like that. I wasn't you no know, rude about it. I just gave her my opinion, and she took it off my bill. And that was um, very, you know, courteous of her to do that. And plus, she tried to get it, you know, cooked a different way than they usually do. But it just didn't work out, girl. I expected a moist fudgy brownie and it just wasn't that it just felt so manufactured look how dry it is girl you see it i'm like mm -mm, can't do it the ice cream was all right but i literally took probably one and a half bites and i was like mm -mm, you see it and that's how it looks now it may look moist to you from this angle but i don't know